the Lord Mild May Memorial Chase is next in and we're at Newton Abbott. And this is where I wanted Ryan Costello to still be contacted so I could send Costello to Newton Abbott. And we'd have Abbott and Costello. But anyway, it's two mile one furlong, 0 to 140. Moonbell Edge happy for David Robertson at the top. What Mavro for the same trainer is number two. Coco Bell for John Morgan. Admiral Ascoli for Martin Lee. And Red Flag Day for Leon Van Rensburg. Duchess Lancelot, Paul Rhodes. High Town for... Darren Thompson, the grey teller for Ryan Costello, Fiorentis Diamond for Paul Rhodes, Cashback for David Hooley, Evelyn Carter for James Shea, Force 10 for Craig Beckwith, Maslak Gacho, James Shea, Cash Cow, Graham Clutterbuck, Capable Carlington, Martin Lidham, Portland Daydream, Vinnie Gerard, Chiller Melbourne, Graham Clutterbuck, Halladay Ahead, Thomas Rogers, Mayor Picker, Daniel French, Lexington Virus, Vinnie Gerard, Palace Paul Ryan Costello, and Atelier Fleet, Alex Jerry. Huge field for this one then. And. Called in and away, all 22 of them. And this could be a thriller minute. As it's mass like gacho, at least they get to the first. Uh, let's see them over the first. They've all got over the first. Okay, and they're sorting themselves out. They've got 13 more to take. And mass like gacho has shot into the lead and he's going to try and cut across the defence. The other one that wants to lead is Coco Bell for John Morgan. And those two are going pretty quick as they get to number two. So they're all safely over and Coco Bell's won the battle to lead at the moment. Well, Maslak Gacho in second. Gap of a couple of lengths then back to Moomble Edge Happy and Hal Deer ahead. Then Evelyn Carter's. They're already at the third. And over the third they go looking towards the back Lexington Virus. Just the back marker. But Coco Bell and Maslak Gacho are not hanging about. And they're four lengths clear of Hal Deer ahead as a clear third as they get to this ditch. And over that one they go. They all got over it okay. But Maslak Gacho didn't jump it as well as the leader. Coco Bell. So Coco Bell it is then. Already down to the mile and a half point as they get to the water. And all stream over the water nicely. Coco Bell in the lead. Maslak Gacho second. Red Flag Day has moved through up into third. Then Moonbell Edge Happy and the Grey Teller. Then Mount Picker and Force 10. Capable Cardington wide on the outside. Then Dutch Lancelot and Walt Mavro. Evelyn Carter he is nicely placed on the rail as well as they take the next. All safely over that one as well with High Town now the back marker. Although Vinnie Gerrard's pair, Portland Daydream and Lexington Virus, are with him as they take this next one. This will be the last on the next circuit, and they're all over that one as well and going nicely. Racing up now towards the winning post, and they'll swing out left handed for another circuit of this Newton Abbott track. And Coco Bell's the leader from Maslak Gacho in second, Moonbledge Happy is third, and Force 10 is four. Red Flag Day is five, and then what Mavro six, and the Grey Teller seven, and then Mad Picker and Capable Carnington, and Admiral Escoli and Evelyn Carter, and then Halladier ahead, and Duchess Lancelot and Cash Cowan for your Entis Diamond. Then comes Chilla Melbourne and High Town, Atelier Fleet is after that one. Pal this pie, the back marker as they race down towards the next then and it's Coco Bell who is in the lead and then down to it and gets over it nicely and there's a faller at the back there, Admiral Ascoli has gone so that's the first one out of the race Coco Bell continues to lead Maslak Gacho second, Moonbell Edge happy going well in third, then Hal Deer ahead what Mavro, Mad Picker, they got into the next then, and over that one they go, one or two shoddy looking jumps in midfield, but it's still Coco Bell who's really putting them to the sword at the moment, Coco Bell, Maslak Gacho, the grey teller going well on the outside as they take the 10th, and over the 10th they go, they're well strung out now, and it's Coco Bell who's clearing the lead, the back marker Palace Pie is probably 25, 30 lengths behind the leader, but it's Coco Bell over this ditch in the lead then, that was the 11th, and Coco Bell then from Moonbelledge happy in second, Cash Cow, He's coming through in third, swinging around the outside, going really well. He's Mad Picker. Then on the in, trying to get through on the inside, looking for there for a run. He's Force 10 as they take the water jump. That's the third from home. They've got two more to take then now. And it's Coco Bell from Mad Picker and Cash Cow. Eve Lift Carter going out of the pack. The Grey Tanner's trying to run on. Force 10's also now running on the rail. Coming behind that one. Maslak Gacho, Duchess Lancelot trying to get into it as well. It's wide open as they take the second last fence now then. And coming up to it, Cash Cow landed in the lead. Coco Bell made a mistake. There's a four of they're held there ahead, but it's Cash Cow in front. Cash Cow then coming down towards the final fence and a short running. Cash Cow from Evelyn Carter and the Grey Teller. Over they go. The Grey Teller made a mistake. Cash Cow pulls away, and Cash Cow is the Cash Cow of the final day of the season for Graham Clutterbuck. The Grey Teller second, and then Maslak Gacho and Evelyn Carter in Force 10 and Watt Mavro, and all the way back to Palace Pie. And Graham Clutterbuck with a handicap kill on the final day of the season. Well, Fill his piggy bank with his cash cow. And took that one really comfortably. 
big, strong, competitive field and he's put them to the sword there. Off bottom weight, just about. So it's a win for Cash Cow, Graham Clutterbuck. Maslak Gasho for James Shea was second. The Grey Teller for Ryan Costello. So no victory for Costello at Abbott or Newton Abbott. Even if Carter for James Shea was fourth. And what Mavro for David Robertson was fifth.